Hello and welcome to Cirex Weighing Technologies. My name is Ralph Wazan and I have worked for Cirex Weighing Technologies in technical support for many, many years. In this video, I'd like to show you how easy it is to send commands from an HMI panel or a Step 7 program to a Cirex module. The following explanations how to send commands to a Cirex module are valid generally for all Cirex modules in the S7-1200 and S7-1500 series. I would like to show you the command execution with the help of the WP251. Let's start with the HMI panel. I would like to show you the command execution behind the button Start Individual Weighing. When you press the button Start Individual Weighing, the instance database of the Cirex WP251 writes the command code 1101 to CMD2 and the trigger bit is set. The instance database then looks like this. Commands that are executed from the HMI panel are written to the command queue CMD2. In order to, for example, start a single dose, the command code 1101 is written. The command code can then be found in the CIRA tool software as a number in brackets next to the command or in the WP251 manual in Chapter 10. In addition to setting the command code, you also need to set the trigger bit once in the HMI panel. As soon as the trigger bit is set, the command is executed. The trigger bit is reset automatically by the function block. In the instance database, there are three command levels in total, CMD1, CMD2 and CMD3. CMD1 is reserved for the S7 programmer and is not used in the ready-for-use environment. The S7 programmer can run their commands here. CMD2 is reserved for the HMI panel. The commands that come from the HMI panel are entered here. CMD3 is reserved for OB30 and OB35. OB35 is called every 100 milliseconds. The FC30 is called in OB35. FC30 copies the commands that are found alternately in CMDA and in CMDB to command level CMD3. At the same time, every 100 milliseconds, the trigger bit is set. In my example, commands 2030 and 2034 are used. Now I will show you how to transfer a new set point via the S7 program to the Cirex WP251. To do this, I will use command level 1 in my S7 program. For this, I go to OB1 and the network that is already prepared for this. Firstly, we enter a new set point in the instance database. In my example here, I enter a set point value of 99 kilos. Then we assign the required command codes. To read a data record, we need to use command number 2000 plus the data record number. To write a data record, we need to use the command number 4000 plus the data record number. In my case, I am writing the set point to data record 20, so command 4020. The command 4020 is executed once here. 
The value 4020 is entered in the command level as a CMD code. At the same time, the trigger bit in command level 1 is executed. As already mentioned, the trigger bit is automatically reset to zero after every command execution by the function block. This is why the trigger bit may only be set once with a positive flank to true. After each command execution, the WP251 provides a response whether the executed command with OK or with an error terminated. This means that after the command execution, the bit finished OK or finished error is set. The S7 programmer can then take these return bits for their further programming needs. In my case, the finished OK bit was returned. This means that the WP251 now has a new set point. Should we now want to, for example, start a single dosage by the S7 program, we would simply need to execute the command 1101. I input here my command code 1101 and run the command once over the positive flank. Now a dosage has been started in the WP251, we need to keep our eye on the return bits as a control. Here, the finished OK bit has been returned again. This means that a dosage has been started in the WP251. Under SIO data slash AWI status in the instance database, we can now find the bits for coarse and fine signal. Also, the current weight is available in SIO data. The complete structure, SIO data, is automatically updated every 10 milliseconds. This means that the user is guaranteed that the current bit information and process values are available. I have shown you how easy it is in this video to send commands to a CIRX weighing module. I'd be happy to see you in another one of our CIRX videos. Siemens. Ingenuity for